Hello everybody, it's Damon Rosen. I'm in Kiryat Shimona, Israel, about one mile from the Lebanese border. And in the next few minutes, I'm going to tie together a 34-year-old story with the biggest story going on in the world today, and that is Donald Trump decertifying the Iran nuclear deal. October 23rd, 1983, about 75 kilometers from where I'm standing right now, Beirut, Lebanon, Hezbollah blew up the United States Marine barracks, killing 241 United States service members. Earlier this week, the United States offered a reward for two Hezbollah operatives. One of them, Faoud Shukr, was one of the planners of that attack. There are direct flights daily from Tehran, Iran, into Caracas, Venezuela. Uh, Hezbollah has been known to have training camps in Venezuela for decades. Also, uh, there's intelligence that says they've been working with the Mexican drug cartels on the United States southern border. So when Iran threatens the United States, it's probably not going to be a tank battle in a desert somewhere. How do you think Iran plans on getting back at the United States? They're certainly not going to do it military to military where they have no chance. What they're going to do is use their surrogate, Hezbollah, up until the 9-11 attacks, Hezbollah was responsible for murdering more United States citizens than any other terrorist organization. I've said this before, Iran is different than any other country if they get their hands on nuclear weapons. MAD, mutually assured destruction, works with other rational countries. Shia 12 is not rational on Western standards. Uh, if Iran was told that they would lose 90% of their population in order to bring about an end time scenario, they'd sign up for it in a second. Iran's missile program with their intercontinental ballistic missiles is not necessary to hit Israel being Hezbollah controls Lebanon. So who do you think these ICBMs are meant for? They don't need them for here. They're for you. After Trump decertifies the Iran nuclear deal, it's going to go back to Congress where they'll have 60 days to reimpose sanctions. Now, with the spineless United States Congress that we have, you can count on nothing happening. So it's up to you to put pressure on your congressman to impose sanctions on Iran. So please, pick up the phone, make your emails, do something. I'm begging you.